Good afternoon. This is Remax Realtor Wes Garrison with the Garrison Brothers here at Remax Town and Country. I'm making another video of my series of frequently asked questions that I often talk about with my buyers. Now, in this case, we're going to talk about first time home buyers. Uh, they often ask once we go under contract, we find the house that they want, yay, we get our contract accepted. They say, well, what now? What can we expect? There are a couple of really important intervals that I want to just quickly go over. Again, this is just an overview. Uh, the first interval is we have an escrow period. We have three days from the execution contract uh, to get your escrow in. That escrow could be real small, $1,000, or it could be real big. It could be up to 5% of the total contract value, depending on whatever is negotiated prior to the contract being executed. But you have three days to get that in to make a valid contract. Uh, if you don't get it in, contract's void, technically. Um, now, the next interval is the inspection period. Again, it's up to the realtors what they negotiate, but in this market, an average inspection period ranges anywhere from seven to 10 days, usually falling more along the seven days. It'll give you that period of time, whatever it is, to inspect your house, to hire a licensed inspector to go out and make sure that everything is copacetic with the house. If the roof is good, the AC is good, the wiring is good. If we find any problems or if you find any problems at all that you're just not happy with, you don't feel like going comfortable going forward on the purchase, you have that seven to 10 day period, whatever's negotiated to cancel the contract for any reason and get your escrow back. Now, once that goes forward, we get a good inspection is what we want, right? Uh, the next interval is the appraisal. Now, in this market, it's taken a little bit longer for those appraisals to come back, but the bank, the lender, will hire an objective third-party appraiser to go out and appraise the value of the home. What we're shooting for is we're shooting for it to be appraised for the value that we offered, or even more in a better conversation, or in a better example. Um, so once that appraisal comes back and everything's good, the next period is the loan approval. And basically what they're looking for is they're looking for credit worthiness. They're looking for a good appraisal. Technically, that's what their definition of, of loan approval is. It's a little bit more complicated than that. And then once you make it past loan approval, then we go to closing. There's usually the, the lender will issue a clear to close. They'll send all the paperwork to the title company. That usually takes about three days of processing back and forth and we're good to go. So we have four primary intervals. We have our, our escrow period, which is three days. We have our inspection period, which in average can be about seven to 10 days. And we have our appraisal, which, which once it's ordered, it can take up to 14 days, 14 to 21 days. And then we have our loan approval. And those are the four main hurdles that we want to get over during the process of a contract. All right, thank you very much for your time, and there'll be more videos to come. <music>